I would like to introduce you to the hottest vampire on earth. Wow. Okay. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking about you. <laughs> How are you? Um, good, good. Are you ready for your life to change? Uh, I'm I'm always ready for my life to change. I, I don't really have... Well, it never does change. I'm always waiting for it to change. Yeah. Never does. Well, okay... The the screen factor has gone up a little, hasn't it? The screen factor, yeah, but I, that doesn't that just seems so bizarre to me. But I doesn't actually I don't class that as being part of my life. That's a kind of that's a side dish. Uh-huh. It's like it's a side dish which you don't necessarily have to eat. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, yeah I, I don't know. You go into these different rooms all around the world. People scream at you mm-hmm. for ages, and then you leave, and then and then they don't scream at you anymore. <laughs> it's like. What is the most outrageous thing that has happened to you recently? Um, I think when I was in New York doing another screaming session, and uh, this little girl who was about seven came up to me and she was, and she was like, Can, she asked me to bite her, and um, <laughs> but with but with such such longing and passion, like she really really it wasn't just like, hey, dude, can you bite me, please? She was like. <laughs> I need you to bite me, <laughs> and it's like, it's like, do you even know what you're saying? <laughs> like, I mean, oh like, it was God. so much passion behind it. I actually almost needed to do it. <laughs> like, I, was just, I almost did do it. <laughs> it's carried oh, away. Okay, what is it about? You know, we always hear that that, that the gals like the bad boys, but when mm. you are longing after the vampire, that's a whole nother level. Yeah. What is it about? You know that type of of dude that makes the girls go wild. I don't know. I mean, it, it's like, I was trying to think of an analogy earlier. I was thinking like, you know, it's something about some guy if he says like, listen, I'm going to kill you. It's something really attractive about that. I was like, yeah, I mean, I really can't see it. Um, I don't know. I think it is, I think it's, a. I think the connection in Twilight between uh death and like sex i think that's i think that's what is so attractive to people i mean it's such a sort of it's such a powerful thing i mean it's like and it, they're so closely connected anyway right. they're like saying like literally like i know what having sex with you is going to be like and it will mean it will be so amazing that i'll end up killing you <laughs> i mean like i mean like <laughs>